All right, so good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We're coming to you live here from the Gamma Convention in Reno, Nevada, bringing you all the cool board game coverage, some background information, and just some overall fun stuff all day today, and tomorrow, too. Uh, but first up, let's get some introductions going. As usual, I'm Matt. I got some special guests with me today. I got John and Ross from IDW. Hey. How are you doing today, gentlemen? Good, good. Glad to be here. Yeah, we're doing great. This is super fun. How's the con going so far? Well, we I flew in, I set up our booth, and now I'm here. So oh uh, pretty good. I'm really <clears throat> enjoying the pepper mill. I uh, was I wasn't really on uh, team not Vegas, and then I'm kind of showing up, and it's really nice to see that like everyone's here, and it's it's Reno's treating Gamma how Gamma I think wants to be treated. Yeah, which is really cool to see because when we go to Vegas, it's always there's always everything else going on, but now that we're here. It's just cool to see, like... The it, signage in the airport, yeah. the big billboard in front of it's, the pepper mill with gamma and big letters. It's so and, cool. So I, I, I love that we're doing that. And so ID, ID, IDW's got a lot to show off, too, which is really cool. And I'm glad we get to do that. Yeah, so you got some stuff here on the table to show off today. So uh, I think without any further ado, let's jump into it. Uh, what do you want to talk about first today, Ross? So we've got, uh, I've got four things here, uh, and these three are on the table to begin with. Um, and so to start off, uh, I think with something like John right here, yep. uh, we can talk about uh, our Munchkin uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which is super cool. And so uh, we have this on Kickstarter right now. So we just hit 100K this morning, which is super cool. Yeah. I have to point out that uh, before Josh actually sent me a link to the Kickstarter page, and he's just like, oh my God, I am in love with the way this Kickstarter is laid out. And it is absolutely gorgeous the way that you guys did it. So big shout out to that. It's absolutely beautiful. Awesome. Yeah. We, uh, we, because I got the glare of a popular heart that. So yeah, it's a, the, the campaign really, really, really came together really well. And it was fun that we got to utilize all like the art just. That, like, the, the depth that IDW has to play around with, right? And so because we got to use we got to use Kevin Eastman and, and you know Tad Volusia and uh, Jay Photos for all the different art and stuff. It, it's it's fun that we get to play around with like original turtle stuff, and then it's all new art for the game as well, right? Which is great. So we get to just kind of play around with the page, and the page has the action graphics and everything. And so Spencer really had fun doing that. Um, and then we got to use all the guys that do all the lettering for the comics on publishing and they so got to cool. do that up for the page and uh and then for the video i don't know if you guys like really watch the video at all but, but we got uh, robbie damon mm -hmm. so he does the voice of michelangelo and i guess he's currently the voice of peter parker on some stuff too but he's been really deeply involved in a lot of the turtles cartoons so cool. and so uh, we we did, played some games when we were doing uh, team and t showdown on, on another show and i was like hey you want to do the voice for this show for the campaign and he's like oh yeah Let's do, let's do it up. Nice. And he was a blast to work with, too. And so it, it was really cool to kind of have all the different uh, aspects of the Turtle family kind of come together for this project. Absolutely. You get some continuity from back in the uh, the good old days from when you first saw it. And you can kind oh, of yeah? remin reminisce over it. And it's all there. Oh, it's, so, it's, 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 it's just super <clears throat> fun, right? And so then uh, we got John San Diego Local and does a lot of really good game design work. And so we were like, hey, uh, we have a cool idea for a bunch of Turtles. Uh, do you want to you know rock it out and then john's like sounds good and literally like a couple days later he's like hey here's my here's my stuff what do you think and we're like uh this is so cool <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool well, uh, you gave me a bunch of comics to read we did you gave me an ipad loaded with all the turtles comics and i've been a big fan of turtles my whole life i have a picture that i drew when i was four years old of krang and it's still hanging in my mom's yeah yeah yeah, yeah. house i'm a huge fan and so yeah when when you said hey would you like to work on turtles it's like oh are you kidding me right <laughs> are you kidding me <laughs> so yeah i got to i got to tear through the current idw run of the comics which which was an absolute blast. And then I just got to go to work making this game. And, and honestly, it's been some of the most fun I've ever had like making Good. the game. Truly, it, it's a blast. So what are some things that you really like putting in, in the game for, well, for Munchkin? So I really love Munchkin for partially because of all the ridiculous stuff you can do, you know? So so the idea of having like April O'Neil wearing Shredder's helmet, riding on Mondo Gecko skateboard <laughs> while wielding like Bebop's chainsaw and wearing a chef outfit. That sounds hilarious. To right. Me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I, on the other hand, I love all the silly stuff that Munchkin does where they kind of play with the real world with their rules. So for instance, uh, my favorite is the Baxter Stockman character. He's a monster. Uh, and for a little background on him, he's like a, a creates all the mousers and the flyborgs, all these robots. And so when he comes out onto the board, uh, all players have to count up how many cell phones they have, smartphones or tablets in the room. And he gains power equal to how many phones <laughs> right? in the room. So it's just... <laughs> This is like a bunch of ridiculous, silly stuff, uh, but it's you know fits right into the Munchkin universe, Absolutely. and then it's also clearly in the Ninja Turtles universe. 
It's got yeah. some turtle power going. Oh, 100 percent right. <laughs> yeah. And so, so uh, Jackson Games and the whole team over there—they've been a blast to work with. Nickelodeon's been all about it too. So it's uh, super fun. And then right now for the campaign going on, we have a poll going on where you get to choose who the next hero is going to be. And so we opened it up to anything in, in the Turtles universe. And so right now there's a—it's running with Mondo Gecko. Oh yeah. Uh, Ace Duck. Is, is doing it too. There's some leather heads. So everybody's pushing for the, who they want to see is the next hero that we're going to put in this campaign. That's real awesome. And I love the interactivity in the Kickstarter page as well, getting people, their their voices heard so they could get exactly what they want out of the game. Which is super fun too because like, <clears throat> we're in this campaign in a very similar style to how we did Legend of Korra mm -hmm. and Masquerade Death, so there are no stretch goals. Right. So everything is just data reveals on each week, weekday, which we've been showing off cool art and all these cool things like that. And uh, especially for this campaign, because we have the Deluxe Edition and the Ultimate Deluxe Edition, where one is with the colored art, like we've seen here, and then we also have the Duo Shade, which is very reminiscent of the original Mirage comics. Right, right? The, the black and white and shading. Yeah, yeah, so that'll be uh, to the campaign exclusive, and uh, when you do that, it'll have all of that, which is super fun. And then we're doing promo cards for all in the black and white. Uh, so that's going to be pretty neat. Kevin's had a blast rocking those out, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, yeah, it's, it's, we have, I think, eight more days to go. We did a two-and-a-half-week campaign. Um, so eight more days to go. Guys, check it out yeah. while you still got time. Back now while you can. And when when are we expecting to see this hitting uh, people's collections and then, more importantly, like retail shelves, stuff so like that? So I believe this game is going to be out on shelves and we'll be doing fulfillment sometime, I want to say, in July, August. Okay. So um, we'll have a pretty good because right now like we're, we've already worked with the same place that you know Munchkin's getting made, and they, so with Steve Jackson Games is really helpful making sure that we can have it. Everything will be lined up just like how Munchkin's done, so it'll go right along all your other Munchkin games as it does, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be able to rock, rock it out really really well. Uh, we're still working out some little rules here and there for some fun stuff. John's got some extra little stuff in the works which we'll be re oh, revealing. Yeah. Got a couple more characters we haven't announced yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that'll be super fun. Um, yeah, it's it's gonna be a good time. Fantastic. Uh, so that is Munchkin's Ninja Turtles right there. Yeah. I'm really excited about that. But what else have you brought to the table for us to see? So we have some cool things. <clears throat> uh, we can pop right into uh, the X-Files. So we have the X-Files Conspiracy Theory. So we had uh, Matt Fantastic on earlier, and he was talking a little bit about this. Oh, I'm, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, he didn't have the, the box to show us. He didn't have the contents. And look at you. You're bringing it to look, us. Look, I do. We can't. Like, you know, Matt's, Matt's is uh, just a blast to work with. He's fantastic, you could say. <laughs> hey. And uh, so here's, here's the game here. And so it goes right along with the Everything Connected series. We had the Jerk Gently mm -hmm. and now X-Files. <clears throat> um, and this game, I know Matt and Spencer and, and, and the other rest of the team at IDW were really, really, really jazzed to just, you know, make this happen. We're like, oh, we should do another game in the series. And it's like, oh, let's do the X-Files. And so they really rocked out with it. So we can pop out some of the components here. And I'm sure Matt already explained how the game works. Absolutely, with the uh, the voting system and mm -hmm. trying to connect the dots and make your illogical story yeah, logical. So, right, so there's all kind of awesome evidence cards here, um, which they just go on and on and on and on, which is super fun. And then you have a lot of conspiracies you have to do. Mm -hmm. So, like, we can pop the first one up here which says, uh, an editor of a sci-fi book publisher does not report uh, to work, but mysterious burn marks in a note are found in his cubicle. Ooh. Also, his earbuds are missing. <laughs> oh, okay. So there we go. It's a cool little... I could show that off in the hand cam over yeah, here. Yeah, even better, right? Up close and personal. Boom, boom, boom. Look Whoa. at that. All right? Cool. And so there's a lot Go of cool, fun ones. Covers up your face a little bit there, but you know. Oh, it's all good. No one, no one needs to see that. <laughs> right? And so there's all, all kinds of fun ones. And so people. <laughs> it's evidence here. I just saw it. an AOL CD ROM. What are the, what, what's, what's that again? Right? I, I forget what those are for. You know, going into Walmart, the free disc that they had at the checkout line. Oh, yeah. Please install this AOL 8.0. Oh, my God. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. exactly. There's a guy at Wasteland Weekend. It's a totally off story on that, but uh, so I, I I do the Mad Max camping thing of it called Wasteland Weekend, and there's a guy that made yeah. a whole set of armor with. I saw those. I yeah. saw that online before. That's hysterical. Yeah. So and there's a lot of those. We have the, all the all the cool evidence cards too, and everything. If you want to show off, so it's all the same stuff where you've got these fun things, and so it fits right alongside with everything um, mm. in the <laughs> liquid filled Erlenmeyer flask. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> if you feel the X Files in this cool party game, we've had a lot of fun with this, and it's doing really, really well. So this one just came out uh, this month, which is super fun, and so uh, it fits right alongside. I'm sure Matt rocked it out, and so oh yeah. And there's uh, there's two modes, so you can do the full. Everyone's explaining for one, and then one explaining for everybody else, and mm -hmm. so it it rocks out. Really well, and then the uh, the voting mechanism is the mm -hmm. huge dynamic in there. That's the, uh, the the point getter. Yep, that's how you get the points. So that's super cool, and it's out now, which is fun. So boom, boom, boom. Yay! And where can we find that? Uh, it's on stores, so it's it's out on shelves right now. Mm -hmm. So you can get that out there, uh, you know, and you can just get it where you buy games. There you go. So which is super fun. <coughs> you can do it right to retail. 
which is a blast. And then we've got another game I brought here as well. Dragon Ball Z, Perfect Cell. Super cool. So uh, this one is done by the lovely um, uh, Chris Bryan. Mm -hmm. All right, and so Chris Bryan's super cool. He uh, actually got to uh, work at Funimation and do a lot of the... Uh, editing out the blood so in DBZ, cool. so it's kind of a whole small world connection there when yeah. it, it comes together with this. And so this game is a blast. Uh, I love DBZ. I'm watching through Dragon Ball Super right now. Uh, same here. Josh and I started the series, uh, you know, fairly recently. And then when he saw the Dragon Ball Z game Perfect Cell on Facebook, he immediately commented on it. He sent a picture to me, and I'm just like, Oh my God, Josh! I want to play it so bad. Did we, uh, get you guys a copy yet? No, not okay, yet. Okay, we can. Uh, Make it happen. That is the yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's funny because they're gonna have the uh, the next episode where Goku turns uh, ultra uh, ultra <laughs> Oh, 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 oh hey, hey, hey. <laughs> It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. So it's gonna be super fun. So in this game, uh, everyone's working to fight against Perfect Cell. Okay. Um, and so we can pull out some of the cards here and everything. And so that's one of our newer things that has been opened yet. So it's based on the episode uh, World's Finest. Okay. Or at least in that little bit of the saga. So we're all working to... Um, so you can be Trunks. Oh, yes. Future, future trunks, trunks, right? And so you can be Gohan. We're going to get a lot of green screen. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's the all good. No, background, it's all good. But, you know, it's actually kind of cool. Like, yeah, well, I like mean, that. it's kind of that classic DBZ. Like, <laughs> like, with, <laughs> that looks cool. <laughs> with, with, with the dragon radar, right? Oh, Piccolo's going to look weird. This yeah. is... Yeah. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> man. Look at that. <laughs> That's that's actually pretty cool. And so we got Krillin, obviously. Who wants to die first? Yeah. <laughs> Poor Krillin. We were watching a bridge on the train this morning. Anyway, so there's that. So there's Goku, obviously. And then we've got Vegeta. Very good. Yeah, it's so cool. super fun. So yeah, this is the best part, right? So we got the radar. Bit. Oh, you got scouters. Yes. So, yeah. So these, these are super fun. These are where all the skills are at, right? So you get the the things that have been in, so you can put. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I'm nerding out so much right now. This is... I'm just... <laughs> so, yeah, as, as we should, right? Ross, what does the scanner say about his power level? It's over my thousand! <laughs> right, so, so, so when the game sets up, we'll have our abilities here, and it's, it's all about dice rolling. Mm -hmm. And so you're building up your uh, dice pool to essentially help you buy new abilities, mm -hmm. and then either it, or attack sell. Okay. So you're going to use your powers here, and so they're all, you know... I can do that, so we can all see what's going on, right? And so, this game you can play for up to four players. Uh, two to four or one to four? You can do one to four, because okay. it, it, it's a co-op. Mm -hmm. So you, you, can, you can play those, you know, by yourself. And so, these are all the different abilities that you can get. And so, as the game's going on, you can go and get uh, different things, which is cool. They'll just flip over and do all that, which is awesome. So uh, can you give me an example? Like, one of, What are some of these abilities here? So we're going to have things like... Uh, what do we got here? We've got Regenerate, which allows you to get more... So you can heal the damage that the cell is right, done. Is Kamehameha in here? Yeah, there is a Kamehameha. Kamehameha. Yeah, right? So you get your Kamehameha. <laughs> yeah. All right, and you can get your Solar Flare. And solar Flare. And then you can get some of your uh, Perfect Barrier and your, your you know, Kai Blast. And so you have, you have a lot of like, the power-up stuff. Disruptor Disc. Oh, very cool. Which is super power fun. Up. Yeah, Structo Disc. Right, you can do after image strike. Good times. Not I many people still do that in the show, but it's good stuff. And so you're, you're you'll buy these abilities, which will allow you to get more dice to roll. And then along with that, uh, you can either heal or you can do more damage to sell. And so you can even pass dice on to other players. Mm -hmm. So instead of so if if you don't need the dice that you've gathered, but you know that Vegeta needs to have that extra roll, because all these different dice can do different things, mm -hmm. right? So the red die do damage, and the green guy can be for assists, and the yellow dice I help you get Dragon Balls, and then the blue dice can do damage on the tracker stuff. So each character has their own special abilities, uh, different it, powers. Everybody's roughly the same in regards to how they start out with. Okay. And then um, as you get different a abilities. And as you get different dice, everyone has different dice they start out with. Okay. But they all have, and they've got one ability they can do, but everyone has the same, here's what the dice do. Mm -hmm. Right? So Go Goku's got abilities he can do, Vegeta has abilities he can do. Gotcha. Krillin and so on. And then everyone <clears throat> has a different dice pool they start out with. Mm -hmm. And so that as you're playing along, either you can use your dice to buy other abilities, which you can flip out, or you attack cell. 
-hmm. so he'll be getting doing more things and he can also stop you from buying abilities and stuff like that so it's a cool if you've played games like pandemic or co-ops where you're trying to like manage what's going on while that this is what this game like rolls right into which is super fun very cool so yeah and awesome thematically. Of no, course. it's it's it flows so well, right? And so you've got Cell right there rocking out, and you can play all your favorite characters, and the dice are super fun. So, and then you've got little when you heal, you know, you got to use your sensor beans. Oh, you've got little sensor beans. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to see them in this camera at all. No, no, but, you know. totally fleshed out, right? <laughs> won't they? So, yeah, and you've got other <clears> abilities too, which you can start out with, and so those give you additional uh, abilities you can gain. So there's, uh, you can definitely spec out your characters. So you're making sure you're lining up every hike how you want to do it. That's up. awesome. Love the customization of the characters. That's a huge. Plus yeah, well, in my it book. really it gets a lot of re replayability too, right? So you're not just gonna play the same thing over and over again. So you right. want to make sure that you're doing what you want to do, and uh, which is great. All right. So I know that you had one more game that you wanted to show off we for do, us today. We do, and so let's pack up the Dragon Ball, and then we will go and get that. So we brought Galaxy Hunters. So I will wait to talk about that until we have it out. But yeah, so Dragon Ball Z, you can get it uh, at stores right now. Mm -hmm. So it, it's out now. And uh, just in time to watch the end of Dragon Ball Super. No spoilers, Ross. No spoilers, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I just... <laughs> yeah, we're, we're watching Doug. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're really behind. Uh, that's cool, though. That's good. They When they did the uh, the episode with uh, uh, the, the gel Vegeta, did you guys watch that one? No. No, we're not. We're on so it's only up to like episode 29. Oh, wow. So you're watching through the uh, Super, or watching through the movies essentially, right? Yeah, it's right now it's the uh, the end of the first tournament where your Goku's fighting hit. Oh, cool. Okay, okay. okay. So there's going to be, a th ah, whatever. There's, there's going to be something really, really cool where if you watch Dragon Ball Z growing up, yeah, they brought back one of those voice actors. Yeah. It's super, it's super, and it's for one of like, like the little filler in between little slogger bits, but, it, but it's, yeah. it's a great, anyway, so that's, that's your, so Dragon Ball Z, uh, Purple Cell is out right now, so you can pick it up, and it's super good. All right, so let me segment this right here so we could talk about uh, Galaxy Hunter. Sounds good. More. All right, so Ross, tell us a little bit about Galaxy Hunters. I see you brought this to show off for us here today. Yeah, so we've got Galaxy Hunters here. It's uh, coming out uh, in Kickstarter okay. on March 28th, and so it's our big sci-fi Euro game. Oh, how you doing, John? Hey. Great. <laughs> awesome. So we have our game here. This is by Daniel Alves. He's a really cool designer that we've loved working with. And so we've got Galaxy Hunters. And it's a big uh, two to four player. Um, There's a lot of stuff in this there box. There is going to be a lot of stuff. And I'm excited to pull it out. Some of the guys might be a little damaged because they went through um, the, the, the shipping process it happens right oh. so which is making me a little sad right now oh, no. it looks like almost i should have opened it before i came on stream <laughs> with the joys of coming quickly so we got, we got, we got a couple there guys go. that made it which is good <laughs> look i could show um, this off a and little so bit it's that. all good so these yeah. are these are these are damaged because of the travel but let's all just ignore the things i just set there but it's all good so there are a lot of things within this game right here so we've mm -hmm. got Galaxy Hunters, and so what you're doing is you're going to be customizing your mech and your pilot as you're harvesting uh, giant robots for the best that you can do. So let me pull out all these awesome pieces here. Dun, 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 dun. So you had me a giant fighting robot. Yeah, so, it's a, so, you're, so what you're doing is you're customizing out your mech and your pilot as you fight giant Keju in space. Oh, so very uh, Pacific Rim-esque. You could say it is like that, which it would be really cool if the movie was coming out the same time we were running a Kickstarter. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's in space, it's like Pacific Outer Rim. Pacific uh -huh. Outer Rim, there we go, right? And so, boom, Winner, boom, winner, boom. chicken dinner. So we've got all these, co <laughs> keep pulling things out, keep pulling things. We've got a lot of cool planets and stuff. The board is massive. This giant oh, you got, board. you're going to take up some real estate with I'm that doing it. Boy. I'm doing it. I don't even yeah, care. Let's, let's make pulling it out. Move some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got a cool board here. We're just going to show a little bit of it, but it's a big, big, big board. So this is a game. We're going to go. This is a head-to-head -head game. Where so it, it's a, it's a. You're, you're playing against other people. So it's a turn where you're, you're picking your different actions each turn, right? Mm -hmm. So you can decide if you want to go to what planets you want to go to, and you can pick all the different pieces you need because you need to customize out your pilot and your mech. So I need one of these guys right here. It's a big board right there. Doing a little pan and tilt. Yeah, pan and tilt. So here we go. So, so show me what you got. 
So we've got these two different pilots, and we've got a whole bunch of different guys you can pick from. You've got all these different pilots, which is super cool, and they have all different abilities and so on. Mm -hmm. And some of these are going to be in the base game, and some are going to be Kickstarter uh, reveals as well, which is ooh, super fun. Ooh, ah. And then so we've got your, your pilot and your mech. And so with your pilot, they've got different abilities they can do. So all these different little squares right here, you can see the different stuff, uh, which is, allows them to either uh, have discounts at planets, have bonuses or minuses against other uh, Kaju as they're killing them, or they can turn in more resources for more points. Mm -hmm. All kinds of cool things. So each character's got its own specs there. Each character's that they got their have. own specs of things they can do and ways they can score points. Ooh. So uh, you get bonus points in the game if you can uh, customize your mech the way the pilot wants it. And so right here, there's going to be different um, items you can buy, which if you put those on the spaces that are on the mech, you can get more bonus points at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. So when you get that character, it kind of gives you an idea of, okay, you want to aim for, I want to get two gold, I want to get two guns, I want to get a blue, I want to get a green. And every pilot's a little bit different, so it kind of gives you an idea of what you can do with those different abilities. And so that way you're not playing the same game over and over and over again. Definitely got some replay replayability there. Oh, 100, oh totally 100%, right? And so the cool thing is even each pilot gets more as you change up because then depending on the mech you pick, there are these two little checks right there mm -hmm. and that lets you know which ones they actually get to use that game. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if, if she's teamed up, you're only going to use the bottom two where if we're going to use another mech over here, you get a top one and a bottom one, which is super fun. Oh, so you don't get access to all of your abilities all the time. You don't. Ooh, that's really yeah, cool. Yeah, so it kind of makes... Well, each mech's like, there's, <clears throat> there's super heavies, or there's lights, and so all, all these big mega mechs have different things they can do. And along with that, the mechs have different uh, energy, they have different ammo, and they have different shields. So because you're going to use your weapons to defeat the monsters, they use up energy as you swing, use up ammo as you fire your guns, and then your shields as you take damage. Makes sense. Right, and so you need to make sure that you've got everything covered. So you're going to have these cool little cubes that are going to be on those as you're playing. Boom, boom, boom. You're going to start out all full up, and then as you go around and you need to get, as you get damaged or so, they'll come off, so you have to go and repair as you go to different planets, which will help repair that up. It's going to be your armor breaking off, your weapons breaking down, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, totally right. And so on your turn, you've got uh, your ships, which you can send out. So you have them as little meeples, and they may have cool little upgrade Aww. things, which we can look at doing in They're the campaign. They're so cute, though. They are adorable, <laughs> aren't they? And so you send, you send those guys out to different planets, and they can buy you upgrades or get you more resources so that you can upgrade all the different things you've got going on, mm -hmm. which is super fun. And so on each turn, as you go, because there's going to be all those different turns which you go along, and you're going to use to upgrade your mech, upgrade your pilot, or you go and attack all the different Keju and the giant monsters that are out there. So there's lots of cool dudes, and there's different levels for them, too. So I could show those off a little bit that better. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, sh I should have been using that oh, one. Oh, the, the green one. Instead. Oh, boy. Of course, we got the green ones, right? Which is the best. It doesn't show up that bad. That's not too bad. Okay, so there's a cool blue guy or an orange guy. And so every turn, more of these guys reveal down. And so they have an attack, and they have a shield. So you have to be able to defeat that blue number, and they're going to do that purple number to you. But then when gotcha. you defeat them, if you turn them over you're going to get all those cool resources. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so you get to harvest from their corpses. Essentially, right? So yeah, so, you, so you're harvesting from these guys, and they let you build up and do all these things. So as we've got little lower level ones there, or you, as you get more powerful... You get much higher resources yeah, there. Yeah, right? And so you can get oh, more that's, things. Oh, that's a lot of resources. Yeah, right so you there. can get money to go and buy things and do stuff like that, which is super fun. And so you've got these big mechs, too, which we're going to have in the campaign. They're so you can, gorgeous. Yeah, and they're massive, right? And yeah, those so, are those are... Maxis, not minis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which is super fun. And so we got these big guys here. And, uh, and yeah, so we got these big guys, and uh, it's going to be super fun because they're going to rock around the board and do it up. And so it's super cool. So yeah, I don't know how we're doing on time, but uh, I think we're we're coming to the end of our time slot here. But is there anything else that you wanted to say real quick about this game before we yeah uh, call to wrap? Well, so I just I'm I'm really excited for this game. If you really enjoy Euros and you really like like the way that, that these games kind of work out, there's a lot of cool cards. We didn't even get to go into all the different tiles that got going on, or all the different cards that are in this game, and all the cool tokens okay. and things. And so so that's why you looked out of breath and you're kind of coming up here. I had you to look at this huge box here. with it's all this just, stuff. Just that's what it is. Full of things, which is super fun. And uh, I'm really jazzed for uh, like, that we get to do this game. So we're launching on March 28th on Kickstarter. Um, we've got a lot of cool stuff going on, and it's getting really cool. So everyone, so, keep your eyes peeled for March 28th. You'll see the Kickstarter coming your way. Yeah, Definitely yeah, go okay. show your support. And then we are in the final eight days oh, yeah, of yeah. the uh, the other Kickstarters. Yeah, well. and so we have Munchkin Team and T up on the campaign right now. Uh, you can go check it out. John, you know, did a lot of cool work for C-Dacting Games that made that game rock out. 
and we're good to go. Fantastic. So thank you guys for joining us. We really do appreciate us on, it. Man. Always good. Always good. It's a ton of fun. And for all of you watching at home, please stay tuned for more coverage coming throughout the day here from Gamma in Reno, Nevada. Otherwise, stay tuned. I'm Matt. I'm Ross. I'm John. Good night, everyone. Yay!